Hello everybody and welcome back to Blender for Beginners. Um, <laughs> last episode was a bit of a marathon, apologies about that one. We did it. We did have to get a lot done and I was really drained by the end of it. I, I, I did find that one quite um, quite taxing on the old brain department. Um, anyway, we're going to take it a little bit easier today. We're just going to do a little bit of modelling practice. We're going to do a few windows and doors and stuff. Um, so if you saved your... Um, startup file you'll be same position as me when we open a new file if not don't worry about it just go and set your window up how you want to do it and uh, we're going to delete this anyway a to d a to s a to select all and right click and delete i'm just going to put my screen keys cast keys on so you can see what i'm doing um we're going to shift a shift a adds stuff so we're going to add a plane making sure you're in edit mode uh, tab into edit mode if you're in object mode. We want to add it in edit mode. We're going to rotate Y90. We're going to GZ1. That's going to put us up on that position. We're going to control R. We're going to put a loop cut in there. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of making doors now. So I'm going to press 2 to go into edge select. Now, we grab these. If we extrude Z, scale Y, now control R loop cut, right left click, right click, scale Y, bring that in to about there. And control B, we're gonna bevel and we're gonna rotate the mouse wheel a few times. And we're gonna get it sort of as close to those edges as we can. We'll do it about there will be fine. We're gonna press L to link, we're gonna to M to merge or Alt M if you're on an older version, merge by distance. Uh, let's do that again. So merge by distance, and then we're going to click this, and we're going to just increase the island. We're going to increase the merge distance. We seem to have merged. I think we've auto merged. Yeah, that's fine. As long as we are merged, uh, let's go. Let's go three. Um, let's. In fact, let's alt click on one of these, and uh, we'll get that side. We'll right click and split. GY, we're going to come up here, we're going to put the vertex snapping on, and we're going to GY, and we're going to snap back to that there. We're going to link that, and we're going to merge by distance. That's going to remove some vertices there. Now we've got a, we can link, still not joined up. Scale Y, a little bit wider, and now you've got yourself, um, a sort of gothic doorway archway. If we alt click these, it's giving us these top edges as well. So we're going to shift, deselect those, press F, create a face. Um, now these are all a little bit wonky. I don't like. I want to. I want to line these up a little bit better. So we grab the opposite ones and we press G Z and we can snap to those. We'll do the same with these. G Z, snap to those those gz they look pretty straight but we're gonna make sure they're perfectly straight gz snap those go click shift click gz control click same with them gz click so that's given us a kind of gothic like arabic looking door entrance get them let's join um Let's control R, let's click on that. Let's control R, click there. Let's grab those two, let's join those. Press three. Aye aye. Insert those faces there if you wanted to. We extrude those out there uh, in a little bit. Get into like a window. So there you've got like an arched window top. Um, we can move this around a little bit if we want to with proportional editing which is up here you can also press O on the keyboard O will switch this on and off so O and then we go let's go edge uh, let's go vertex select with one and we'll press G Ooh, now we can move it around now if we increase the scroll wheel we can actually move things so if we press Z so we're moving G up on the Z axis and we increase the scroll wheel we can actually move various other parts around with us we can decrease the scroll wheel to move 
Now that's just going to right click. <laughs> I don't use that very often, but it's there if you need it. That's proportional editing. Um, all right, let's just link G Y. Let's get rid of that. Shift A. Let's add a plane. Let's rotate Y ninety. Let's G Z one. Let's Control R. Let's split that in the middle. Now then, um, this circle down here is your cursor. Sometimes you'll start with cursor selected, and when you go to click on a face, you move the cursor instead. And you're like, no, I didn't want that. I went to click on a face, and that cursor can get in your way. If you shift right click, you can move it, and you can also drag it with shift right click. But if you want to get get it back to the center, you press shift and C, and it will return your viewport and your cursor back to a central position. So. The reason I mention that is because we're going to use it now. Let's go one. Let's click. Oops, no, I didn't want to click that there. So let's shift C. Let's return the cursor back again. Let's make sure we're on uh, box select or tweak one of these. Box select is fine. Tweak is fine. Let's click that vertex. Now let's press shift S, which is going to bring up this menu. And we're going to do cursor to selected. You can also do that shift s and cursor to world origin and that will also return it to there so shift s cursor to selected that's going to put the cursor right in the middle of the um, top of this section now before I touch the next move I want to go and save <laughs> there's a reason save as make sure you're in your whip folder and save it as whatever you want I'm calling this episode 4 which it is when I've clicked on this spin tool a couple of times, it's crashed. So um, just be careful. So two, let's go into edge select. We're going to select this edge. We're going to select X up here because we want to spin it on the X axis. We're going to grab this here and we crashed. <laughs> it's happening to me. It's happened to me quite a few times already. I don't know why. Um, Make sure you save before you touch this, just in case. It always seems to work the second time. It crashes the first time and then works the second time. So we're going to grab this here and we're going to... Let me just control Z there. Um, we're going to grab this here and we're going to drag it round. We're going to hold control and it's going to snap it into increments, five degree increments. We're going to go around and we're going to drag it until it's snapped to there. Go into three. We're going to go back up here, select that. We're going to L. We're going to merge by distance going to remove any excess vertices now that's going to give us that let's link GY let's grab them two faces shift D right click GY let's bring them back again um, it's going one let's click that vertex shift S cursor to selected because we're not exactly in the middle uh, two edge spin tool Rotate and we'll do it again. This time we're going to click this button here and we can actually reduce them by dragging left and right. You can press these two buttons here to go left and right and you can also just put in your own number by clicking on it and then typing in a number. Um, let's go three face select. Let's get back off here. Let's link merge by distance and then I to insert, I to insert again. And then we can extrude X. Just take them back a little bit. Hold shift. It's easier if you look at it from the side view when you're doing that. GX if you want to move them back and forward after you've placed it. So it's A, G, Y. Let's drag those over there. That's just a simple way of doing a couple of window panels. Uh, making different sort of shaped round tops. Let's grab them two again. Shift D right click GY let's bring them over here um, in fact shift S cursor to world origin um, shift S selection to cursor no that doesn't work shift S select, there we go right selection selection to cursor keep offset GZ1, we'll <laughs> put that back there, okay. That's centered us. We didn't need to do that if you don't really want to, that's fine. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you there as well is if you say we say we loop cut those as well, uh, we go into one, 
Let's say, actually, let's say we dissolve this edge. So loop up those two, dissolve the middle edge. Now we don't have a vertex uh, to put the cursor into, but we still want to be in the middle. So if we select those two and then do Shift S, cursor to selected, it will actually put us into the median point between the two. So now what we can do, if we go to two and we grab that edge there, we can now spin that edge, spin it round, hold control, click to the point that you want. Are my screencast keys on still? No. Did I put them on? I don't think I did. Sorry. Um, now, if we alt click that, we can put a face in there. Now, this has gone a bit funky because we haven't merged. If we link now, merge by distance, that will fix that. Let's just click that so we got rid of the spin tool. Um, now, if we wanted to go and insert those, we'll link, insert, we can insert those. Um, if we wanted to create um, separate panels in this window, what we could do is right click, make sure you're on face select, right click and select poke faces. That's going to put a vertex right in the middle. We don't want it there, so we're going to G, Z, and we're going to snap it to those. Now, if we control R this one, right click, Link, merge by distance. There we go. So now we can go and insert those individually. Extrude X a little bit. There you go. So link G Y A G Y. Let's move them out of there. Let's now the cursor's up here to return it to the world origin. We press Shift C. That will return us back. Got a couple of different types of windows there. Let's. Um, the other way of making a circle, obviously, is Shift A, add circle. You can add a circle. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, if you open this box up, and here you can decide how many uh, vertices you want. Let's go 10. Let's press Enter. Let's rotate Y90. Let's GZ1. What we're going to do now is we're going to go rotate X 18, 1, 8. The reason being is because there's 10 faces, so 36 degree rotation. We'll just rotate from one face to the next. So we only wanted half of that, so we wanted 18 degrees. So rotate X 18 will give us that. If we press F3 and we type in checker, we'll get checker deselect. We need to be in vertex mode. Sorry, let's just... Press 1 in vertex mode, F3, check a deselect, and that will deselect every other one. Now, if we press S to scale, we bring these in, and no prizes for guessing what we're making here. <laughs> Move, get them as close as you want. Move your cursor over one, press L, press F to fill in a face. Apologies if you can hear my dogs, I don't know what they're barking at. Now we're going to grab that, we're going to grab that, we're going to press J to join. We're going to grab that one and grab this one. We're going to press J to join. That one, this one, J to join. That one, this one, J to join. That one, that one, J to join. And we're going to click on that vertex there. We're going to GX and we're going to bring it out a little bit. Holding shift just to keep the movement slow. GX a bit more. Make it a little bit more stand out. Now three face select L, shift D, right click, rotate Z 180, G, X, drag it back, G, X, click, snap, link, M, by distance. That's joined us. Two sided star there. Let's go into vertex, select, let's click that bottom one there. Let's press control shift B. Let's bring that out a little bit. Let's extrude Z. And let's scale Z zero. Let's G Z. Let's bring that back up a little bit. And let's scale X. Just make it a little bit wider. Extrude Z. Bring it down a little bit. Extrude Z. Bring it down a bit more. Scale. Bring it up. Extrude Z. Extrude Z a little bit. Scale. Bring it up. Now then, I want a square base on this, so we'll go 2 to edge select, select and shift select and extrude X, bring that out, we'll scale X0 and then we're going to GX and we're going to snap that back to that corner. We'll do the same with these, 
up them to extrude x bring it out scale x zero gx we're going to bring that back there we're going to snap that to that corner now we're going to alt shift click uh, control click there no control z actually let's do it from this side control click control click control click we just want to make sure we've got those extrude z bring it down a little bit extrude scale bring it out extrude z bring it down now we've got ourselves some let's, um, let's go into face mode let's alt click this let's control plus and let's scale x and we'll just bring that out a little bit now that's that has brought them out at an angle but I, I, that's okay that's quite fine it's okay so link GX, bring it back, GX, snap it to there. Now then, the reason it's snapped in the middle there again is because we're on uh, in, we're on median point there. We need to be on bounding box center. Or you can press period on the keyboard, click bounding box center. Let's GX and let's GX again and then snap it to there. And it's still not done it. Why not? Bounding box, something going on with my snapping. Oh, you should snap to there. Not doing it. Oh well, GY. Let's just bring that down here. Just A, G, Y. Let's bring them out. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a, a little bit of a Soviet monument there uh, for the workers and resources. Shift D, right click. Oops. Control Z that again. Let's link. Shift D, right click, GY. I'm going to make it a bit taller. Let's go three for face select. Click on one of those. Press Control plus on the number pad. Control plus again. Let's GZ. Right click. Let's Control plus again. Control plus again. GZ. Let's get that bigger base bit up there. There we go. And now, if we want to add a couple of details on there, let's go Control R, loop cut scroll up to two, left click right click control b get those extrude scale shift z and we can expand those out a little bit and then we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of detail around the stand so that's how you make a star make a christmas tree out of that <laughs> so i make a christmas tree i've never made a christmas tree shift d g y um let's Control plus, control plus. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go to there. Let's split, left click, link the bottom section, right click, delete faces. Let's go up here to alt select that edge. Let's scale it out a bit. All right, let's extrude Z, scale it in a bit. Let's GZ, let's bring it back up a bit, right? Let's extrude Z, scale it right out. Let's um, scale it on the Y a little bit, make it a little bit more square. Let's extrude Z a little bit, scale in, GZ up a little bit, extrude Z, bring it down, scale right out, extrude Z. Down a little bit, scale it in a little bit, GZ, bring it up a little bit, extrude Z, let's get it down to there, let's scale. There we go, we've got a Christmas tree. <laughs> Cheap and easy Christmas tree with the world's biggest star on the top of it. Let's go control plus, let's control minus, we just want the star, let's scale the star right down. Scale that down. Let's GZ. Bring that down to about there. There you go, that's a bit better. <laughs> GY. We had a Christmas tree. It's still a bit wide, so let's Alt click that. Let's uh, Control plus on the number pad a couple of times. Um, let's do that top section as well. Let's scale Y. Let's just bring that back. And then let's scale X and bring that in a bit there. 
only a bit of practice. We're not we're, we're not making anything serious. A nice Christmas tree with a big star on the top. <laughs> let's A G Y. Let's bring that out of here. What else did we make last time? We made some chimneys last time. Let's um let's have a look at some chimneys. Um, shift A. Let's add a plane. Um, that's G X minus one. Let's go two to edge select. Select that back to edge. Back edge, GZ1. Let's make it like a slope so we're on a roof. Three to face select, Shift D, right click, GY. Let's make a second one. Go back to the first one, I to inset, bring it down, I to inset again. So we can use a, lift, a different texture on this section. E to extrude, Z, bring it up, scale Z0, enter GZ, control click that vertex there. Insert, extrude Z, insert, extrude Z, insert. Now then, let's scale X and we'll make that squarish. Come out again, let's extrude Z, let's bring that chimney up to about there. Let's insert, let's extrude Z, let's bring that back down inside. Let's control R, left click, drag it up. Left click, Control B, go to there, extrude, scale, shift Z, so E, S, shift and Z. Let's bring that out there. We can close these if you if they get in your way. Um, were they covering up my, I don't think they were. Right, so let's do another one there. So in fact, let's do two. Left click, bring them down. About there, left click, Control B. Bevel them out, extrude scale, shift Z. Bring them out a little bit like that. There we go, we've got some chimneys. Did I have my let's put cavity on while we're at it? <laughs> so there's a chimney, kind of chimney. Make that one bigger. Extrude scale, shift Z, make it bigger than those. A bit more stepped, a bit more normal. Um, a G Y. Let's bring this one into view. I tend to move everything because it's easier to work in the middle of the screen. So let's grab that one. Let's inset, inset, extrude Z. Bring it up. Scale Z zero. G Z. Control snap to there. Inset, extrude Z. Bring it in. Insert, extrude Z. Bring it in. Insert. Scale X. Let's make it a little bit more square. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit, Preferences. In Add-ons, we're going to look for Loop. And this is going to give us Mesh Loop Tools. This is already in Blender. You don't need to download it. You just need to go and uh, activate it. There's a lot of tools in there that are not activated. So we'll get through some of them. But um, We'll just do them one at a time now and again and I'll show you how to use them. So this is loop tools, we definitely want this on. What we're going to do now is going to go here, make sure you're in face select by pressing 3 on the keyboard. We're going to right click, we're going to subdivide, we're going to right click, we're going to subdivide again. We're going to right click, we're going to go loop tools and we're going to hit circle. Now when we extrude Z, we have a chimney, a round chimney. We can scale that in a little bit. I'll bring it GZ, make it a bit taller. Now control R, left click, drag up to the control B, extrude scale, shift Z. Do the same again, control R, left click, drag it down, left click, control B, make a bit bigger one, extrude scale, shift Z. If we want to make that bigger, we can three for face selects, alt click that, extrude scale, shift Z. And take that out, just making sure we don't go over the edges of the bit below it. Now we didn't select that, so let's grab them four there. Control plus on the number pad, insert, insert again, making sure you don't go over the vertices. Extrude Z, bring that back down there. That's another chimney. Let's link that. Making sure we're in three for face select. Let's right click and let's click shade smooth. Now that's going to look a bit funky at the moment. So what we do is go over here, drag this out. We're going to come to this button here, which is like a little triangle. Um, 
data properties that's what I was waiting for the pop-up to come <laughs> um, and in normals here we're going to click auto smooth now look at the difference this is what happens if you shade smooth it's trying to smooth everything if you auto smooth it will figure out which edges need to be smooth and which don't so in this case if we tab out we can see it's given us a, a relatively smooth edge now you'd need more faces on there to get it perfectly smooth but like i said before more faces equal more tries um did i mention the tries um i might have done on the last recording that i messed up um the more details you add the more tries you're going to have um in the game per object is thirty thousand tries maximum if you the last building we made was fifteen thousand so that's perfectly fine because most buildings in the game are somewhere around that anyway some are bigger some are smaller um some of the mods are a lot smaller a lot less detail you can go as low poly as you want but you know it's up to you how much detail just don't add too much if you're going over thirty thousand tries you're gonna to have to break your object so you're gonna to have to break your model up into separate objects and if you say you split the roof off from the main part of the body when you come to build it in the game you're gonna end up with floating scaffolding on the roof and stuff so it's far from ideal um, so we don't want that so try and keep an eye on how many tries you make how many tries you're using um, yeah don't go over 30,000 if you do need to split your model up then you have to do so but if it's that big you can split it up into separate buildings anyway and things so that'll be fine um, if we alt click that control plus on the number pad a couple of times in fact let's not let's let's look down into the chimney and let's click those four faces there now control plus a couple of times and we want to get to the point where we've got the underside of that selected we're going to GZ and we're just going to make that chimney a bit taller. So, chimneys, a couple of stars, a little Christmas tree, <laughs> some windows. Um, like I said, if you're putting any details in, if you're making doors and you want door handles, texture them in rather than modelling them in, really. Um, especially for workers and resources, you don't need to model tiny details. The game doesn't show small details up that well anyway. Even window frames are a bit iffy at times, if they're a bit on the thin side. Um, was there something else I wanted to show you today? How long have we been going for? 20 minutes. Let's AGY. Let's... Um, Let's make something else with a circle. We're on 10. Let's go away. Let's uh, drop that down to 6. Let's, um, no, let's make it 8. Let's make 8. There we go. Now let's close that. Let's extrude Z 2.5. We didn't actually right click, face, F to fill, extrude Z 2.5. Yeah, if you don't if you don't put the face in first, it'll um, it'll just drag the circle up. All right, let's go extrude Z one. And let's go scale zero, and that will give us a little bit of a pyramid on the top. Now then, if we we're in face selects, if we link merge that distance, it will remove those overlapping vertices there. But we still can't loop select this loop cut this top section we can loop cut down here but we can't do this top section and the reason being is because we're connected to a single vertex there if we wanted to we can grab that vertex and press ctrl shift and b and we can just drag it down a little bit to create a small face there now when we go into three we can now loop cut that if we want to do if you want to break it up for texturing purposes what we can do actually is just uh, Grab that, grab that face, and let's press extrude scale, shift Z, and let's just drag it out a little bit, and that'll give us a bit of a roof overhang on there. Um, let's alt click these, let's I, I, let's drag them there, let's scale Z, let's bring them down to about here, right click, subdivide, I to insert. Let's Alt E, extrude along normals and shift and drag down. Just drag up a little bit. Hold hold shift to make it 
smooth and slow. We're just going to pop those windows in there so we've got like a little bit of a maybe a conservatory or a bit of a gazebo or something. Maybe it's a bit too tall, so if we was to let's go um let's go let's go I know let's let's grab that little top section there um extrude Z let's make a bit of a detail here extrude Z make a little one extrude Z take it up a bit further scale zero turn it into a point three for face select um three alt click them extrude scale shift Z like a bit of a bit of a spike on the top of it. Now if we now alt click that, control plus on the number pad a couple of times, we want to get to the point where we've got these bits. And we can just GZ bring that down a little bit. Go to the bottom, grab this bottom face, GZ, bring it up a little bit. And then we can right click, delete that face, we don't need that anymore. So, Alt Link, GZ, let's snap it to the bottom of there, GX, bring it back. And you've got like a little type of gazebo or something. Um, little conservatory or something like that maybe a church details you can use it for um, maybe put some arch windows in there if you're feeling adventurous if you want to join these windows up um, get a little bit of zoom lag here you notice it's starting to slow down a little bit because we're coming further away so let's go here press period full stop on the key on the number pad that will zoom us in so let's go one let's go um, Let's grab these two vertices, let's extrude Z, we're going to go up to there and we're going to snap to there, we're going to hit that, um, right. we're going to get them two, I'm going to press F to fill, get them two, press F to fill, two to edge select, we're going to, we're going to click this one, we're going to shift click that one, shift click that one, shift click that one, create a face, Click that, shift click, shift click, shift click, F to fill. That's created our section there. Um, we want to do this one. Do the same again. We'll grab them to extrude Z, snap to there. Select them to F to fill. Select them to F to fill. Two to edge select. Click, 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 shift, F, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, F. There you go. Now you've got those. Um, this one's slightly different because it's got the point in the middle. It's only ever so slightly. Let's grab those. Let's extrude Z to that point. Let's grab all three of those and let's press J to join. Because we're joining through an already face there. So two edge select. Let's click that. Click that. Let's alt shift click that. And let's shift click that one. And we'll F to fill. It's not worked properly. Let's alt shift click that. Shift click that. Shift click that. F to fill. Link M by distance. This is. Don't think this is. Yeah, no, control Z, let's go back out. Let's control Z that a number of times. We made a bit of a mistake there. All right, let's go back to that point where we've just joined. Um, two edge select, let's click that. Control click that one, shift click that one, shift click that one, face. Let's click that, control click that one, shift click that one, shift click that one, face, fill. Three, now we've got those individual pieces. Um, it seemed to be joining the whole thing up before when I did that, I don't know why. Um, yeah, and you can you can scale and mess around with that one if you want to if you want to change the size of it. Just uh, grab these edges, G Y, bring them in. Oh grab that, G Y, bring it in. Link 
press 3 on the number pad to go into the side view UI TZ go to about there, press S to scale TZ S to scale TZ It's probably an easier way of um, scaling, I'm not sure <laughs> um, Right, so yeah, we, we're nearly at half an hour, that'll do for today There's a few little bits and pieces for you there to play around with Go and make some chimneys Go and make some chimneys um, If you do a tall chimney like this, it's usually a good idea to loop cut it At least a couple of times so that you can lay your brick texture on it um, Especially really tall ch chimneys, you want quite a few loop cuts on them um, Than if you're doing repeatable textures like I used um, It's a lot easier to lay them out So... Uh, yep, yeah, go make a little one of them, go make a Christmas tree if you really want to Make the star, we'll do the star again quickly uh, A, G, Y, let's just drag them out of there Let's save just for the sake of saving and for remembering to do so So let's do the star again just to quick refresh a Shift A, circle, open this, click on that Type in 10, press enter Go over here, rotate Y90, GZ1, rotate X18, 1 to go into vertex select, F3 search, checker deselect, scale, bring that in, to the point you're happy, L with the cursor over vertex, F to fill, uh, join them, join them. Join them with J. Oops, I've done the wrong one. Them. <laughs> you know, make sure they go through the middle. Join them. If they go off to, if you, if you end up with one going off, you've done it wrong. Join them. <laughs> we want them all to come in the middle there. So we're going to GX, we're going to bring that out. Three face select, L link, Shift D, right click, rotate Z, 180, GY, uh, X, sorry, GX. Take it away, GX, bring it back, snap it to there, link, merge, distance. And then if you want to do that bottom bit again, just grab that, Control Shift B, bevel, bring it out a little bit, extrude Z down, scale Z zero, and then you can extrude and scale that to your to your heart's desire. Right, I'm going to call it the end of the episode. We've had half an hour, we've had a few things to make and a bit of fun. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Give us a like down there if you did. Uh, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Do all that sort of stuff as well. You already know. <laughs> uh, thanks everybody again for watching. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It really helps out my videos if you give me a like. Uh, it'll get me more viewers. The more viewers I get, the more episodes I'll make. It's the better for all of us. <laughs> right, all right. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask away. I'll answer them if I can. I shall see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Wrong button. <laughs>